Britain's proudest ruin, the shell of Coventry Cathedral, wrecked in the raid which gave a new word to the language of war, awaits the Queen. Lord Willoughby de Broke, Lord Lieutenant of Warwickshire, welcomes Her Majesty and the Duke, and presents the Lord Mayor, Alderman T.H. Dewis. This is a proud day for Coventry, for beside the old cathedral ruins, a new cathedral is to arise, and the Queen has come to lay the foundation stone. Youth organisations line the route to the ceremony. The years since 1940 have dealt kindly with the old cathedral, mellowing its sandstone walls and perpendicular windows. The Archbishop of Canterbury in his coronation cope and the provost greet the Queen at the crypt door. Trim lawns and paths have replaced the rubble and ashes of war. The Prime Minister is one of the party who accompany the Queen and the Duke to the altar of the old cathedral. As the model shows, the new cathedral with its modern lines will flank the Gothic arches of the old, which is to be left standing. They will be connected by a porch, and from today's ceremony, the route from one to the other is to be known as the Queen's Way. The foundation ceremony begins. On the grey pink sandstone block which Her Majesty is about to lay are inscribed the words of St Paul, other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. I declare this stone well and truly laid. Thus Coventry remembers the past and looks to the future.